Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Thursday, May 13th. A uh, nice green, green day today, plus 1,076, but um, a little, actually a little disappointed in that. And the reason is, is because I overstayed my welcome. I was up well over 2,000 uh, earlier today and I gave some back because I placed some trades uh, later in the day that I uh, probably shouldn't have. But anyway, let's go through these trades. I'll show you what we did. Starting with the Mighty 90s, we didn't have any trades. On the pairs trade, had one in gold versus silver, small loser for minus 127. And then on the runners, uh, plus 1203, had a, a trade in Boeing that was a, exactly a scratch, zero. Uh, Baba, plus 565. Beyond, minus 304. Netflix, minus 270. Piton, over 1,000 bucks. Uh, Roblox, first trade in Roblox, plus 183. Roku, minus 920. Square, 505. Biggest winner, Tesla, 1,095. And then the NASDAQ, minus 676. So let's go over these. I will show you what we did here. Starting with Boeing. So Boeing was the uh, was a runner. So let me switch over here. All right, so Boeing. Uh, Boeing had this nice initial push. In fact, uh, on this little pullback here, I was trying to get long and never did just move too quick, didn't have a chance to get filled, and this thing fired up. So that would have been a really nice winner. But then when it pulled back to yesterday's open, got long here, it bounced, got out of half my position for over 10% profit, was looking for a continuation higher. Just didn't happen, rolled over. And so when it broke down back below, cut out of my last piece and took a scratch on the trade. Uh, next trade, Baba. So Baba was a nice winner for 565 on this volume spike here when it bounced just a little bit, got short, kind of trapped around for a while and then pushed down, got out of some, pushed down to this pivot, got out of the majority of my position. And then when it popped up here, I thought maybe our uh, little downside was over. So I ended up cutting out of the last piece. And so booked that one for 565. Now, obviously it, it did have some more on the downside, but I did not stick around for that. And then beyond, so this was one of my late day trades. And I, you know what, I don't really mind that I took this trade because I really like the setup. This one just didn't in fact work. And of course it's beyond. So beyond has a way of uh, getting us as uh, asked Chad about beyond, it's his favorite. Um, so anyway, I mean, this thing just continued to push lower, push lower, push lower, push lower. And then when it flushed and had this nice volume spike, a lot of times that signifies exhaustion. And so when this thing chopped around and started to push up above that big volume price bar, uh, I was looking for a bounce and that didn't happen. So this thing just came down and cut out right when it broke through the lows here. So manageable loss, but uh, minus 304, that was kind of a late day one that you know, like I said, I don't mind that I took it. It uh, it just didn't work. Uh, Netflix. Netflix, I had uh, three different trades in. So let's take a look at Netflix. The first of which had this volume spike here. So when it bounced up to unchanged, I was looking for a continuation, some more downside. But that didn't happen. It kept pushing. And so when it broke above this bar, just cut out. Kept my kept my loss pretty manageable there. And then, um, and then when it uh, pushed... I uh, looked at that as a, what we call our volume reversal. So I got long here and caught this nice move up. In fact, got out of my last piece right here at this pivot, right at the top, which is a good exit because this thing then fell apart. Uh, and then once it fell apart, it was kind of chopping around here and the market was getting weak. So I got short right here, caught this nice move lower, got out of, uh, I think half the position. And then um, I was looking, I was holding for a break of the lows, just never happened. And when it bounced up, uh, I cut out of my last piece. And anyway, net net on those three, uh, minus 270 in Netflix. Piton, big winner, over a thousand bucks in Piton. And look at this, the market just closed five minutes ago. Look at Piton, what a rally, all the way from, all the way back up to highs of the day, closed up over six and a half percent. Crazy, crazy move in there. But uh, what I did in Piton was on this big volume spike here, waited for this little pullback. Uh, this was my first trade of the day, and then this thing just ripped higher and just uh, booked some nice profits. Uh, had held on to one last contract, seeing if this thing was going to continue to rip. Did pull back, held on, held on. I was waiting to see if it would get at least up to that pivot. Didn't quite get there, and so when it started to roll over and the market got started getting really weak, I just cut out of my last piece, but booked uh, 1,025 on that one. And then Roblox, first trade in Roblox. 
Uh, it stayed super small in here, but had this uh, had this big volume spike here. So on this bounce, got short, pushed lower. I got out of half of my position, and then it bounced back up again, took a little heat, and then rolled over. I think I got out of my last piece right down here. So I was super small in there, first time trading it, so just kind of watching it. I like the options in there. They're, they're liquid, got filled easy, and I like the way it moves. So we'll be trading more of that, but booked 183 on that one. Roku, Roku got me for 920. So in Roku, uh, had this. it started to consolidate right out of the gate and then made this big push up. Uh, and then when it, so when it pulled back to this level, I got long here, started to make a big bounce, got out of half my position for a nice profit. And then when it came back down, I added again, thought we still might have some upside, but then it just kind of continued to flush. So I ended up cutting out of it and just taking a loss. Um, and the, you know, the market was getting weak, so I didn't want to have any longs on at that point. So I ended up just taking a loss and moving on. Uh, so minus 920 on that one. And then Squarespace booked 505 on this one. And this was a, um, let's see, what'd we do here? Oh yeah. So on this volume, was it this one? Oh no, it was this one here. Yeah. This volume spike here. Uh, as it broke through the highs of the day and then pulled back, got long right here and caught this little push up, uh, got out of almost all of it right here. And then it started to pull back. And so I cut out of the last piece and booked a nice 505 there. Tesla plus 1095 on Tesla. Tesla, me likey Tesla today. It was good, good, uh, good trade. So, uh, Tesla had some initial weakness, bounced, couldn't even get back up to the high of the day. So when it came down here and broke through the lows on this little bounce back up to unchanged, uh, unchanged, it tried to go positive. I got short right there looking for more downside. And sure enough, this thing just flushed, got out of my last piece. I think it was right here. I was debating holding one uh, for some further downside, but kind of talked myself out of it because, uh, you know, I was up over a thousand bucks and... Uh, I thought we might be getting a bounce here. We're getting some higher volume bars. And so I just cut out, obviously in hindsight, did have a little bit more downside, uh, but still booked 1,095 on that one. And then lastly, on the NASDAQ, uh, this was a late day trade. And this is one, yeah, you know, this is where I say I kind of overstayed my welcome in the day trading today. Uh, but, you know, the market obviously has been a little heavy, a little weak, a little volatile. And so when this thing broke down uh, and then started to bounce here, I was looking for some more downside, you know, to kind of have a late day flush. Uh, so when it bounced here, I got short and then added. Uh, so I got short two here, got short another two here at the pivot, looking for a rollover and just never happened. This thing just ripped up. I guess the only thing I probably did not good on this one is I let this thing go a little bit too long. I probably should have cut out you know, maybe around this pivot or something like that. But so I, I gave a little bit back, but minus 676 on that one. So still, still a nice green day plus 1076. I'll take it, especially on top of a big day, big day yesterday. So we'll be streaming live tomorrow on Friday and then every day next week. So look forward to seeing everyone in the live stream room. See you then.